All right, so let's get started on this white flower. I recommend you watching the other video beforehand just so you know how to make the gnome so you'll have everything like this in your kit. So once you have this done, uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is heat up your glue gun, of course. You're gonna have a piece of nylon, smaller than this one, um, inside your kit. Take the nylon, stretch it out a little bit over the nose like this. And then you're gonna take the extra elastic in your kit and you're gonna tie it around twice. So once, and twice. So I have a few folds in my nylon that I don't really like. So I'm going to just pull at it so that it's nice and flat. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna cut around the nose and discard any extra nylon you have because you don't really need it. All right, now that this part is done, you're going to take your sock. Yours should be just about a half in the kit because this can make up to three. Um, but anyways, you're gonna take the sock, you're gonna put it at the bottom of the gnome. And so either the heel of the sock, or sorry, yeah, the, the toe of the sock will be here, or the opening will be there. It works either way, just make sure the opening covers enough of it. Um, and you're gonna hold it up, and you can see the nose is just about right there. So you're just gonna make a little incision with your scissors. And you're gonna go around cutting any of the excess sock. Um, in your kit, actually, we might have provided a sock that just should fit your gnome no matter what. Um, so anyways, once this is done, just make sure it fits. Um, and now we're gonna start gluing. We're gonna take your glue gun and same thing as in the other video with the other kit, you're gonna just glue all the way around. There we go, so it's not the prettiest, but the sock is glued all the way around and it will stay on. Um, so now at this point, we're just gonna do like in the other kit, we're gonna take our beard um, and we're gonna cut just a little incision here for where the nose is gonna go. So again, just make sure you take the tip of your scissors and only cutting the back of it. There you go. So you're just gonna discard this because you don't need it anymore. And again, I recommend just going like this in case there's any little bits of hair that got cut that you didn't notice. And you can flatten your beard. Um, so now, same as before, we're going to put glue here, around and over, and we're gonna glue it onto our gnome. So remember, hold both pieces that don't have glue, pull it open a bit, and then just stick right under. Anyways, now we got our beard, and it does look a little bit funky, but again, you can just flatten it and mold it into the shape you want. Um, but we're gonna have to glue down the sides of the beards here. So you're gonna take your glue gun, you're gonna take your glue gun, find the inside here, and just put a bit of glue on it. And then you can just stick it down on your gnome. Same thing on the other side, super. So now we have our gnome body with its beard. Um, and now everything going forward is going to be a little bit different than the other kit because the hat, the feet, the arms, etc. Um, so now that we have this, we're just gonna put it aside for a second um, and we're gonna focus on the hat. So you're gonna notice a little bit of extra rice um, was in your kit. So it's not to go in the gnome, it's actually to go into the tip of the hat here. So to give it weight so that it like droops down. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that extra rice. I just have it on my table here. <laughs> um, you're gonna take the extra rice and you're just gonna insert it into the hat. There we go, it's a bit messy. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna work that rice all the way down into the tip of the hat. Just take your fingers and squish it down. Doesn't need to be perfect, but just as long as there's a little bit of weight there. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna take our gnome and we're gonna figure out how the hat looks best on the gnome because every gnome is different and every hat is sewn a little bit different. Um, so what I like to do is obviously don't hold it straight up because all the rice will fall out, but take the tip of the hat. So this is the seam where it was sewn. This is going to be the back part of it, and this is going to be the front part of it. 
So you can notice the back part sticks out a little bit. This is what we're going to put on the back of our nub. So we're going to take it and we're just going to stick it on its head. And now is when you can play around with it. If you like the way it looks like this, leave it. Um, I like to add a little bit of stuffing in the top here just so that it droops down and not like completely on the floor. So this is just going to take a bunch of trial and error to figure out what looks best. Um, but I'm just going to take a little bit of stuffing and I'm just going to put it like a little bit of stuffing and just put it right like at the entrance of the hat there. And now I'm going to put it back on my nub. And I kind of like the look of that, so I'm going to leave it that way. So what you're going to do now is you're going to take a little bit of glue, put it on the tip, and the only part you're going to glue down is the very edge of the hat here on to the nose. We're doing this because we have to add on arms, and the arms are going to get tucked in under the hat. So if everything's glued down, you're not going to be able to get those arms, and it'll be visible and it just won't look as nice. So I'm going to leave right on how it is. I'm going to take my glue gun. I'm going to put a dot of glue right here, and then I'm just going to glue the hat onto it. Perfect. So we don't need the gnome anymore for at the moment. Um, so we're just going to put them to side. So obviously, this isn't exactly what you have in your kit. You're going to have two separate pieces, um, or one full piece, depending on how I do it. Um, but anyways, so what you're going to do, this is what it's, it's going to be your arm. Your arms are going to be made of this. Take the very end of it. You're going to notice you can like, you can stick your finger in it. It's because it's hollow there. That's where your pom-pom is going to go right at the end. And that's what's going to make the little hand on the gnome. So I might've already measured it out for you. So you might just have one long strip. All you're going to have to do is fold it in half and then cut it in half, which is what I'm going to do right now. So you go, these are going to be my two arms. Um, what you're going to do now is you're going to, you're going to um, make sure that the hem here, so this is sewn, you don't want this showing. So you're going to want that to be against your gnome. So for example, so for example, this part is going to be like on the body versus this way, right? Because this way you can see it, this way you cannot. Okay, so the entrance is where you're going to put your little pom-pom. So all you need to do, it's very easy. Um, you're just going to find the entrance here. You're going to make sure it's hollowed out a little bit. So just stick your finger in and you're going to just put a little bit of glue on the inside. And then you're going to take your pom-pom and you're just going to stick it right on there. Pretty easy. And so you're just going to do the same thing with the other one. So there you go. Now I have my two little hands. All right, so what I'm going to do now, remember, this is the only part that's glued, so the hat can go like that if it wants, but it's glued on, so it'll stay. Um, I'm just going to fix it back to the way I kind of like it, like that. Um, and what I'm going to do now is, this is probably the hardest part, in my opinion, um, is just figuring out the placement of the arms and how you want the arms to look. Um, so I can see there's still a bit... I like I can see the sock here, so either I'll glue this up or I'll just make sure the hat is pulled down. Either one. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna take my arm and I'm going to first start by putting it kind of where I want it on the gnome. So for example, like I want the arm to come just about here. I think that looks cute. So I'm just gonna hold it and I'm gonna figure out where exactly that lines up here. So if I were to glue this here and glue it around the body, the arm would stick right about there and I like the way that looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift up the hat, I'm gonna apply glue to the inside here and I'm just gonna glue it right onto the gnome. Not on very well, which is the point. Um, I'm going to take the hat, I'm going to put it right on top of it, just so I can see how much coverage I'm getting. Alright, I think that's good. However, you are seeing this, so you are going to have to glue it down to the side a little bit. Um, and so eventually it should come just like that. 
And anyways, I like the placement of this one, so I'm going to go ahead and glue the other one on. I'm just going to let the hat flop just right at the front so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to take the other arm and I'm going to put it just about in the same spot there so that they're equal. So at this point, you're good to kind of throw your hat back on. Um, just so you can check out like the positioning of the arms. I like the way mine looks. Um, however, we can see the trimmer, so we're going to have to work on gluing it. So I'm going to take the hat off again. Um, and basically, I want my arm to come up like almost close to the nose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this under part here. I'm going to apply some glue, and then I'm just going to stick it to the side of the gnome, not including the beard. I'm going to stick it in a little curved pattern, so now the arm is being curved here, rather than just going straight. There we go, so now we can see, like, compared to both sides, this one is up, whereas this one is just straight down. Um, so for this one, I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to apply some glue, and then I'm just going to glue it up. Alright, there you go. So once your arms are glued on the way you want them, they might not be perfect, but that's okay. Once they're glued on the way you want them, now you're going to glue the hat on. Ooh, mine got all twisted here. So I'm just going to take the hat, and you want to make sure you're pulling it over where the arms are. Right? I honestly think I have a little bit too much stuffing in mine, so I'm going to remove some. Like you, like, so now I just have this much in the hat. It's just to get a little bit of volume right at the tip of it, so it doesn't look like it's just flat on its head. And again, this part just takes a lot of playing around with, which is why these guys are so hard for kits. You're, you're gonna have to squish your gnome a bit and mold it um, to fit and then hold down the pieces. Okay, so I like the way this looks. I want this to come down a little bit more, right? And then this is gonna flop. I like the way that looks. If I let go of it, everything like the hat, okay, well not right now, but if I glue this part down and then this part will lift up and it will just continue getting like a bit like floppy so glue one part at a time and whatever you're not gluing hold down so i'm going to start by gluing this side of the gnome here so i'm just going to double check yeah i like the way that looks so i'm going to take a bit of glue and i'm going to put it right where the arm is here and then I'm going to pull this down. See, when I'm pulling this down, this side comes up. So I'm just going to make sure I hold this side down. Because one of the worst things that could happen is if you glued one side down, but then realize there wasn't enough fabric to cover the arm on the other side, it would just make it really disproportionate. So I'm pulling on this side to keep it down while I'm holding this side to be glued. All right, so just like that. So yeah, so I can already see this side has pulled up a little bit, so I'm just gonna have to pull it down even more. Anyways, I'm just gonna put a bit of glue, oh boy. I'm gonna put a bit of glue right here. All right, so I haven't glued the back yet, just in case I wanna take out some stuffing or add some stuffing, but I like the way this little guy is looking right now. So he's got his arms, he's got his little floppy hat. The back isn't glued yet, so this still comes up. So that's the next part. So I like to take it, I like to flip it up. So this part here, flip it up, and then just put glues on the corners, like around the, the hat. So I lift it up. And then I'm gonna put glue here and there. So like glue there and there. It doesn't really matter how much you cover, just as long as the bottom part um, get glued down. And then you just flop it down and push. And be careful not to burn yourself. If there's any other really like, big holes you notice, you can add some glue in there too to help glue the hat down a little bit more. Alrighty. Alright, so now you have your gnome body done. And if you want to stop here, you can. Um, but there is the little love, which will be glued right there. And I'll do that part now. 
So you can just put glue anywhere along the love symbol and then place it anywhere on the hat you'd like. All right, so I have glue going all along the back there and I'm going to take it and I'm going to attach it right there. Ta-da! It's hard to explain. So I'm just using scrap material because that's all we use for this part. You're gonna have these styrofoam balls. The flat part here is the bottom of the foot. The rough cut part here is what's gonna be glued to your gnome. So you don't want a ton of fabric here because then it won't like sit nicely, but you also don't want no fabric there because you'll be able to see it. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of fabric that I have. Honestly, I can cut this little tail part off. Um, so you'll be given like a square of fabric. All you're gonna do is basically put it on top right and just glue it however you'd like and cut excess off so the middle spot here i'm just going to place it down i'm just going to glue it there yeah so now i'm just going to glue it down right in the middle right to that so now it's glued um and now at this point it's just folding the fabric over and gluing it down until you have like a little ball and then that's what we use as the feet and that's really it it's just a matter of covering the styrofoam ball with the fabric see like this would be the bottom of it which goes on the ground um but anyways you're gonna have your gnome this should be the flat like this, <laughs> this is the flat part here and this is the curved part so you're gonna take the flat part and just play around with the beard a little bit and figure out where you want it to go. I think it looks cute there. So all you're really gonna have to do is put a bunch of glue there and just stick it on and work with it. Um, so I'm gonna do that for this foot and then I'll be right back. All right, so now I have the one um, foot glued on. So all I did was take a, took the back of it, did a bunch of glue and then stuck it on my gnome. You might cover a bit of the beard with it, but that's fine because then it'll come down to a nice tip. Um, so you're just going to repeat that entire process with the other foot. Um, so again, I have my little sheet of fabric. I'm going to glue it down. And then I'm basically just going to cover it until it looks like that, but glued. Yeah, be very careful not to burn yourself. It's super easy, which is also why this is a challenging gnome. You're just gluing it, honestly, however you'd like. Um, I'm gonna put a big dab of glue in the bottom. Actually, no, I'm just gonna cut off the excess because it's on the bottom and it's not being seen anyways. Just kind of around the bottom one, just sniffing. All right, so I have a little bit of a bump right there, so I'm just gonna glue that back down a little. Actually, you know, I'm just gonna cut it. There we go, all right. So again, I have my little foot. I'm gonna take the back of it here, the flat part, and I'm gonna do a bunch of glue. I need to do one, two, three, as best as I can. I put it flat on the ground, not the glue part. I move the beard to the side a little bit. I move the beard to the side, and then I'm gonna take this. I like to do it on the ground, um, just so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And then I just push it into the gnome and hold it there for a few seconds. I 
just make sure that glue dries. I might have a bit of glue might end up on the table and that's totally fine. But basically there you have it. So now you have your feet glued on. If there's any loose parts, like for example, right here, it's loose. I'm just gonna like the top right here where it connects. I'm gonna add a bit more glue and then just hold it down. Hold it down some more until everything is nice and secure and then play around with your hat. And then there you have it. You should have your gnome. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too challenging and I hope I explained everything um, to the best of my abilities. But there you have it. You have your cute little white fluffy gnome.